What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Geometry Dash. I'm finally back with another video after a very long time. It's been like two weeks or something without a video and that's pretty much like a record for me recently. But yeah, it's, you know, Christmas stuff is happening and I couldn't really record anything because I didn't have the time. But yeah, I'm back now. And yeah, we're going to we're going to be doing another ep um what's it called again? Oh, oh shit. As I was trying to say, we're going to be doing another building with lemons episode today. And yeah, I mean you already know that because you there's a title on the video. So what I'm trying to what I'm going to be trying to show you guys today is a style that was kind of popular when um, Meltdown came out and lots of people were doing it, but it's not really a thing anymore. And since well I'm sure many of you know Sub Zero recently came out. Uh, like, I don't know, a week or two ago or something, I've forgotten. As you already know, I'm going to be showing you how to do the rock top style, like my take on it, how to make a good level with this kind of style. Like, well, it's not going to be great because it's an empty style and no matter what you do, most people are going to hate it and say, oh, that's empty and crap. But I thought I would just take a bit of a step back from my usual building episodes and do a nice, chill, simple, easy thing that I'm pretty sure any of you out here could do without much time and without much experience. So we're going to get right into it. So the first thing I would recommend, which I've already done, is you gotta you gotta pay close attention to your gameplay. If you study Rob Top's levels, you can see they have a certain style with all of them. They have like a certain way they play out and how they look, which is probably the most important part. You've gotta make it reminiscent to his gameplay. So for example here we've got two little pillars and then one of these things. Most people would not would not bother with these things. Like these are kinda of useless, but they they add aesthetic block stuff yeah like and this as well so add add kind of extra blocks around not too many but that's kind of his gameplay style i'm not going to spend too much time talking about the gameplay it's more about the design and stuff like that but yeah you get the point hang on let me just move this freaking microphone closer that's better so i've already done all the pulses and all the gameplay but i'll start with the colors i'll start talking about the colors so a common theme that i see him using a lot is like a purple background and then pink pulses like this i also made the color one pulse too and that's, that's a common thing you can do. I'd recommend doing something like that if you want to build a level. But yeah, you can obviously change it further along. But yeah, that's colors pretty much out of the way. There's really simple, really simple stuff. We're going to just move on to block design. And the block design today that I'm going to be replicating or like kind of taking inspiration from is these blocks here, which are a classic in Rob Top levels. They look pretty nice and they're not actually used that much in levels anymore, which is pretty sad because they're nice, they're nice, sexy blocks. Okay, I'm really, I'm really sorry about that, <laughs> you guys. I'm really sorry. We're gonna start by placing, one, placing a couple down like this. What, you want to put them out here, here so we can edit them. So colors. What you want, what you want to do here, is make this top part here a nice little accent color. So the detail, I'm gonna make it blue, like that. It's gonna be blue, and then the base we're gonna make similar to the background color. So we'll make a new color and we'll. I think we'll just make it like this, purple pinkish in between the two of them, like that. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. What was it, 36? So there you have it, we've got extremely simple block design, nothing really. Like that's kind of Rob Stop's style, but honestly, I, I think I like it. I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing this in this day and time, but if you want to have fun, if you want to try and do a Rob Top level, go ahead and do this. So once you've made that, we can can fill in the bigger structures with just the same colors and simple stuff but because I've made this I can save heaps of time and just like mmm you gotta love you gotta love some of that copy paste not being lazy so I'll fill in these blocks and then I'll cut that part out because it's boring as hell but yeah you get the idea so we've done the basic block design we've done all the basic structure stuff and that's kind of the first -ish step done so there's a lot more we still need to do. Um, and you've got to add stuff to your blocks. You can't just leave them like this. So what Robtop likes to do, I think, is add a little glow on top of most things. We're just, we're just going to make it the background color at the moment so it pulses with the background. He also likes to make the blocks pulse when you land on them. Like, So when you land on this one, it would go brighter or something. And I'm not going to do that now because that would take too much time for this video. But that is another thing he likes doing. I'm not going to do that, we're just going to add the basic glow like this. It's not going to look as good, but obviously with more effort and more time, it's going to look great. Usually in these building videos, I don't really, I wouldn't put as much effort in as I would when I'm not recording because I want to make it entertaining and quick. And yeah, you know, you get the idea. Now for the ground spikes, we're going to, I think what we're going to do is just put some basic black ones like this. 
I'm not really sure. Like, I think Drop Shot varies it a lot what he does with this when it comes to um, drone spikes and stuff, but I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I'm going to extend that one because you have to jump over it. Like that. I'm going to keep it super simple. And there you go. Simple ground spikes. And another thing I'm going to do also, which I saw in, I think it was press start in Sub Zero, and I'm going to lower them a bit like that so they're not as high from the ground. Like that, I think it looks pretty cool and it's not, not a very common thing to do. We're also going to layer the ground with a layer of, you know, glow stuff because, yeah, to make it look good, really. I mean, why else would you do anything in, in, in an editor? You're also going to want to add some detail because drop top style is simple but not, not barren. There we go, I'm happy with that. So we've got a cool little chomping dude down here. Look at him, he looks so happy, dude. Look at, look at that. Mm. Be a bit lazy and, and paste him all around. I'm just going to embrace the paste again. There we go. And we're also going to put some little, little these dudes. He's got to have a friend. Like you can't just leave him alone in a level. You got to, got to give him some company. We're going to put this dude around because he looks pretty chill. He looks happy. There you go. Though. Look at that. We've, we've added some like, I wouldn't call it decoration or detail, but we've added some stuff. We're also going to, um, I've decided I'm going to put a bit of lava in as well. I mean, you can't go wrong with lava. We're going to make it like kind of transparent. Okay, so I'm sure plenty of you would have noticed in Rob Top levels that these things are very commonly used. These things are nice. I would recommend placing them all, all around the level, but keeping them the player color, because I know player colors aren't used very much these days, but it's nice to keep them, it's nice to keep like a bit of them in the game. Try and vary it from the small to the big ones like this. So use some small, some big. You know, mix it up a bit, make add some diversity. But yeah, you get it. Place them around the level. They look pretty cool and they don't get used that much. So another thing to note with these blocks is the side bits like this. You see these side outlines? You want these to be a darker color. So I've already set all these to an individual color and I'm going to turn, turn the color down a lot like that. You want them to be like Kind of dark purple with the background sort of so that's that's another thing you got to note when you're doing these types of things i'm sorry i didn't say that earlier in the video that probably would have been more useful then but it's all good it doesn't really matter so there we've got a nice basic start like that's it's actually almost done i say start but we're almost done we're gonna also we're gonna add some arrows because arrows are nice and why would you not want to add arrows in anything really arrows are like the meaning of life and we're going to make them slowly rotate because I honestly think people need to use slow rotation. If you didn't know how to do that, it's, it's, you, you press edit special and then you give it a custom degree to rotate over the period of the level, I think. Not too sure, but um, I think that's it. So, yeah, so you know, do that if you want. Do whatever you want, really. You can make it spin as fast as you want. We're going to make two of these. One with, one with this, an exclamation mark, and one with an arrow like that and we want them to both be P2. Now we're going to place the arrow around a bit, maybe two of them, maybe just one, I don't know. Um, I think, I'm thinking the arrow would look nice here, yeah like that, that's good. And this big ass, big ass exclamation mark, it's a bit big, we're going to make it smaller. There we go, just chuck them, chuck them around, make them look good, experiment, that's not going to go there your heart's content really experiment to whatever you want now as for orb design um, you don't really need to do much it's kind of a rob top level you can just do whatever you really want we're just going to chuck this in here and maybe give it a basic outline color of the background there you go that is pretty much it basically that's it now, there's a few more things i'm going to cover well not really a few more things it's well background and ground choice they're really are just up in the air you can do what you like i would suggest choosing a 2.1 background because all of his stuff has been with using the newer background and as for ground yeah maybe what, whatever you want really you can do what you like but these are the more standard ones these have more depth and interesting stuff so one more short tip that i'm going to show you guys before we end the video and we'll play test the level is actually a tip that i didn't know about for a while but it's a really useful tip so here we've got the, the line type this the tip that i'm going to show you guys is the line type so there's two types of line as you can see it's hidden here in the sneaky little ground tab here, so you can change the type of line it is, well, obviously. 
So I've got one right now, which is how it like, like kind of fades out like this. So it's not a full solid line, but if you go into here and press select, well select number two, you can see that it goes full solid, no fading or anything. It's just a completely solid line, which is cool because that is a useful feature that a lot of people don't know about. And I would recommend using it sometimes maybe. I don't know, but yeah, that's a thing I thought people needed to know. Um, hopefully that helped you or something, I don't know. But yeah, let's play the level. Hell yeah, let's just get into it. Oh my god. Let's look at the fruits of our labor. How long was that? Like 10 minutes. Yes, let's go. Let's see. Let's see the good stuff. Let's check out this, this um, level that's full of effort. Nice. There we go. So that was how to build a little nice rob top level. Really, like it's, I, would call, I call it like a humble level, a level that doesn't require much decoration, something that is really fun. And a cool thing is, I actually built a full level out of it because I was really bored and thought, I'm going to make a full level. Because it was, I, I found it so much fun to build like this. I'm not going to upload it because people will get so mad. People will get like, people will start a riot about how simple and easy it is. Like, not easy, but how simple and how lazy I, would, I was going to be. So I'm not going to upload it. I did upload it for like, I mean, I did upload it for like an hour and then took it down, but I'll show you guys the level. I'll put it, I'll do a little running commentary on it because I think it's going to be cool. So this part, um, this part's pretty sick. I don't know. It's, I put all the blocks pulsing like this. It, I kind of got inspired um, by Sub-Zero because I just wanted to make one, I wanted to make a rock top level. They're really fun to make. I'm doing some really, really crappy commentary right now. Also, about the song, this is an awesome song from the artist called Mr. Cool Tricks, who is, he's so good and he's not even that recognized, so the song you're hearing right now is by him. It's his newest track, I think. I really wanted to use it. But yeah, go check him out or something in the description because he's an awesome artist, as you can probably hear. It's just my jam, dude, this is sick. Okay, we're at the end. So yeah, that's that's that. I made that little rob top level. I'm definitely not going to upload it. There is, um, I don't really care about the CP, but people are going to go crazy. Um, people are going to get so mad at that. So I'm not going to upload it. But I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope I helped you here or something. I hope that was. You could go try your own rob top level if you feel the inspiration to do that, like I did. Yeah, that was awkward. God, I got to stop being awkward in these videos. So that will be it for this video. Um, I got a few things to say before I go. Uh, we've got. Um, I'm going to be doing my face reveal 20k video in the next two or three days. Um, as some of you might know, because if you follow my Twitter, I put that on there. Go do that, by the way. Um, uh, yeah, go follow the Twitter if you want. I don't really care, but do that. Yeah. So the, the face reveal 20k video should be out soon. I'm sorry for the huge delay. I've just been like, I've been really putting it off, and I'm going to finally do it. And I hope you're going to enjoy it. But anyways, I'll see you all later. I hope you enjoyed watching this building with lemons video thing yeah um yeah have a nice day or night or whenever you're watching this but yeah i'll see you all later peace